In this video, I want to talk about taking a copy of FM Starting Point or some other FileMaker database and integrating that with a phone system like Vonage or some other voice over IP phone system. Now this is actually pretty easy to set up and gives you all sorts of options for managing an inside sales team. Now what I've got right here is a basic copy of FM Starting Point that's been customized for doing some calling for an inside sales team. Now it doesn't entirely fit on my screen here unfortunately so I'm going to move it over a little bit so you can see it right here. I'm going to move it right here. What I have here of course is the contact information here and then I have the number of times that we are reaching out and touching this person and so we have the number of days that we're going to go out and contact this person. We're going to touch them on day one and then go back and touch them on day three, three days later and seven days later and 10 days and 30 days and that kind of thing. And this is not part of the sales process for us selling consulting services or anything like that. This is purely a sample solution right here. But it is functional. It does work. This would be something you're going to use to sell cars, maybe selling insurance, who knows maybe timeshares I have no idea the point is is that if you're in the business of running a call center and managing salespeople you're going to have a sales process that you're going to want to build and manage within FileMaker but the main part of this video is having a button within your FileMaker solution that when you press it will dial out a phone and for us the easiest thing to do of course is not hold a phone to our head but having a headset and so I'm wearing a headset right now I'm of course recording this video for you but this same headset will allow me to talk to the software. Now we have a Vonage system set up here at RCC and the software we're using is actually a free package, a free piece of software called XLite. Now XLite is actually a free piece of software and uh, you can go and download it and take a look at it and get it configured and set up. But it allows you to actually use the URL protocol within your operating system to send a command out of FileMaker to tell XLite to dial the phone for you. So what you're going to do is that once you have a Vonage account or some sort of equivalent voice over IP account set up, you're going to go into XLite, you're going to go into Preferences, you're going to go into your account section in here, and you're going to configure all the settings for your account, your, your phone numbers, your passwords, all that kind of stuff. You're going to get all that set up. FileMaker is not going to have all the account information for your Vonage account. All FileMaker is going to do is going to tell XLite to dial a phone for you. Now FileMaker is not going to answer the phone. The system that we're talking about today is simply dialing the phone out as rapidly as possible. Now in the event that an inbound phone call does come in, XLite will ring. It'll pop up and start ringing. And I do have the option of popping up over here and clicking the button to answer the call quickly. So it's no big deal. So I do have two-way communications here but XLite does not communicate back to FileMaker for inbound calls. That was not our intent. That would be a whole additional level of programming required to set that up. Setting up FileMaker to simply tell XLite to dial calls is a snap. It's very easy to set up and I'm going to walk you through that. Now first off what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run you through this at full speed. So let's say we have Richard Carlton here. He's kind of a shifty person. We want to sell him a brand new car, say like a some sort of SUV that he would really appreciate. And we're going to press the button here to dial it up. So we press this button. It sends out a URL protocol which tells XLite to actually dial the phone. And so XLite has actually dialed the phone. This window is actually in the background. I just brought it forward. It was over here. I brought it forward. But I told FileMaker to pop this window up right here. Now in my head, you probably can't hear this, I hear the ringing dial tone of my uh, organization. It's calling our main company number. And now I got voicemail and you probably can't hear that. And so then I could make a note here, no answer, and I can just press this button right here and I could say save and close. And then I just click over here and disconnect the call. So I can have a whole sequence of automated processes or pre-canned notes that go into the system to speed along the call process. Notice also that when I, after I finished pressing this, the system, through a series of scripts, looked in here and said, well, I'd already made a phone call today. In fact, Ryan had made a phone call to this person earlier today at 5 o'clock. So I kind of jumped the gun. I was really desperate to sell this guy a car. So we called here tonight at 8 o'clock. So it sees that I already made a call here, so it makes a note that I am calling right here. This section in green right here is if I had an email follow-up. 
So this call process here is designed that you make a phone call and then for every phone call there's an email follow-up. That's just the way this sales process is set up to work. So we actually shot some footage here of how this works. So you can actually see this. So let's cut over to this footage here. And here you can see uh, Ryan pressing the button and it's dialing the number for my cell phone. And then of course it picks up. You hear it ringing and then I pick up Leverage the phone. Carlton. And then, oh, of course, uh, Ryan tries to sell me on whatever uh, what do you want? stuff he wants to sell um, me on. And, of course, that's that kind of the process. Of so you get the idea of how this works. It's, it's a really high degree of automation. You don't have to sit there and be pressing a lot of buttons. You can make call after call after call. We've actually tested this within our organization and, you know, doing some tests. And you can make 100 calls a day if necessary. So Ryan did a good demo here of how this would work, pretty slick. So let's walk through the script in actuality so you can see how it operates. So I'm gonna activate the script debugger here. Here's the script debugger, it's over here. I'm gonna actually press the button right here and it's gonna call script 3200, no big deal. And it's gonna go through a bunch of steps here. I'm gonna widen this out just a bit so we can see this stuff. And what it's doing here is trying to determine if, since I'm making another call, if it should make a note into here or into here or into seven or 10 days or 30 days. So it's gonna jump through these steps here to determine which sequence of dates. In fact, it's already made the determination that it, it's, it's gonna drop it into the next available slot. Of course, this all happens at blinding speeds. We never see this going slow at all. So I'm gonna progress forward over here. It's gonna run additional updates here. Once again, it's trying to determine if additional notes need to be set. So we've got down here through the notes section right here. It's already logged a note into the notes section that we initiated a phone call. I'm gonna step through here. It's gonna jump out to script 714, which is the dialing of the phone. And the reason we call it SIP is that if you actually look at the web command, the web command is actually SIP. Now this right here is the crux of the whole process. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. And I'm, gonna I'm gonna pop open the script right here so you can actually see this. We actually pop a web viewer here and the process of actually popping the web viewer open causes the URL protocol to be activated and causes XLite to actually dial the number. Now initially we tried setting this up with open URL and no matter what we did, we couldn't get this URL protocol to work. It just would not work. Uh, SIP was not recognized as being an authorized URL protocol. So we ended up having to set it into a web viewer, a hidden web viewer on screen. It's a little tiny web viewer that's off the side. And by doing that, the operating system still sees that and then still sends that off to XLite with the number. Now, of course, the number is passed to it right here with phone one. And the filter function right here, for those of you who aren't familiar with this, simply says, take the contents of phone one and only keep these items right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Which means that if there's any dashes, parentheses, or someone writes in the phone, EXT for extension, one, two, three, it strips all that out of there. Because we don't want XLite trying to dial a dash or a parentheses or anything goofy like that. Because that just messes everything up. So what we found out was that SIP colon one single forward slash, not two, and that's what makes all this work. So that's the golden secret moment right there. That'll make it work. And that's what you need to do on a set web viewer command where you actually end up naming the web viewer. So we named our web viewer, web viewer one. And so there's actually a web viewer on screen. I'm gonna go ahead and halt the script right here. There's actually a web viewer on screen here somewhere. It's probably hidden off the right side of the screen and it's actually got the object name of web viewer one. So that's how all this works. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I can imagine people wanting to do all sorts of additional levels of complexity, but for a basic sales operation, it's plenty sophisticated. Now, if you want to invest 10,000, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars, there are companies that will sell you a FileMaker rigged system that when the phone call comes in, then it will search in FileMaker and find the person and bring all this sort of stuff up. But that requires a high degree of integration. And to be honest with you, most of the times I see that stuff run, sometimes it's kind of flaky. This system here, I can tell you, has been damn near rock solid reliable. In fact, I've never seen it crash once. Once? Well, I saw it crash once today, but that's because I kicked the cord out of the back of the Mac by accident. My fault. 
So it crashed once today because I kicked the cord out of the back of the Mac. That doesn't count. So uh, never seen it crash because of a software bug. We've had one or two outages over the last year or so because of Vonage and their service going out, but you can't do anything about that. So once again, rock solid. Highly recommend it. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email us. If you want to talk to one of our engineers about getting this wired up for you, feel free to email us at support at rcconsulting.com.